Hello again, it's Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard with a 12 by 24 inch canvas that I have added my paint to the top so I don't have to think about it again. And I'm that, that top is where my sky is going to go. And I am going to put the colors that I like in my sky and then maybe move them out of the way. And hope that this works out as well as it did the last time. I'm going to put colors I know won't be a problem in there. I still have to cover my edges so maybe I'll let a little bit of drippage fall over. I want some of this lighter pale purp blue. <laughs> Yeah, I think I wish I had not put my glasses down again and I'm not seeing them, but I know there's another pair here, so I'll just grab those. Oh, I found them. Cool. Ha. I'm going to grab a um, OXO omelet turning spatula and let all that paint just fall right over the edge right now and probably tap it into place with my finger because I can, the name of my first book on the Amazon link. And then I'm going to scrape off what there is for residuals on the other side. And it's a little tiny bit in danger of being muddy, but it's not really too bad yet. And I've covered most of the, most of the other places. Let me use that on the top. Less is more as far as swiping goes with a spatula with these colors because you are in danger. I'm a risk taker because I love these colors. I want to wipe that off. I'm going to wipe it off right on the edge though. Then I'm going to wipe it off on my pants because I want those little striations in the sky to disappear. I have some cells which is unusual. I don't mind that. Any spots I've got, I could probably just swipe right up. Not as worried about the edges as I am about other things. This is about adding a blooming wave at the bottom. And so I will continue the way I did my last wave and hope that I can get away with it again which is to put down a pillow of paint and because I'm swiping I shouldn't need quite as much I'm going to let that go to the other end somewhat and up and it occurs to me I'm not in oh I do I see my swipe claws I made uh, not claws I made acetate cards that have curves on the edge and I don't know how that's going to work. I want that to get a little closer down there. And I could probably take my paint and just fill in that missing spot. I don't know about the bottom corner. Maybe I want to put something down there too. i just use my finger. Let that go over all the way toward the edge. Usually I'd use a spatula for that, but just to facilitate time. Okay, so I've pulled out my colors. And I probably already have more color there than I need. But knowing me, I'm going to let that go that way. And know I can swipe some of that. Now, when I did my first one of these, I had some very little of the pink that I love left. And when I put it in the wave, it really was a nice thing. So I'm going to let that go over there. I made a new color since I did these. 
and I want to put it right below the black that I'm going to use. It's uh, Prussian blue mixed with some unicorn spit, mixed with whatever I could possibly get in there to make it darker because every single thing I added to that, uh, that blooming recipe, which is untinted base primer, just lightened right up to the point where I couldn't do anything with it. My paint is definitely getting heavy. It's cold out here. <laughs> it's probably dropped quite far. And there's that blue that I want in there. Now this is less distance than I had yesterday and a couple more colors. So I'm expecting this wave to be more colorful if it works the same way at all. Which would be nice. And those colors are dripping right over the side, which is okay with me at this point. Usually I would want to wait. And I think what I really want to do is add a little bit more of this turquoise. Especially here. I wish I could knock it off on the painting, but I can't. And here's what I had. Just a little bit of that pink. I didn't put any purple in there either. Oh well, so I'm going overboard again. And then the last thing that I did, let me get some of these colors out of the way, was use my black. They're not going very easily. <laughs> out! Out you go! My black cell activator. Which I'm also probably putting down a much heavier coat, coat of. I'm nervous. <laughs> I don't know why I'm nervous, but I'm nervous. Maybe because it's only the second time I've done this. So here are the acetate cards I cut, and I'm not sure how they're going to work, but I am going to dip them. And wish I could do something with that paint. Yesterday I knocked it off, so I'll just do that. And I don't want to use the same card again, except for I can flip it over. Okay, good plan. And wipe it off. Maybe. <laughs> I had a paper towel. Where did it go? All right, I've got another one of these cards, so I'll just use it instead. Let me put that, park that right up there and grab grab this one knock that paint off that's a lot of paint it's really heavy on there I like want to um, knock it off with my spatula and go ahead and come back Not the same side. I remember. I will be salvaging that paint. And I want a nice curve here. going to be a slightly more abstract wave than the last one. Wow, I can't believe I just did that. Okay, well you know what? It's going to be okay. <laughs> I promise. Because I know I'm going to be tipping this down. 
I also don't mind that there's some of that white paint right down at the bottom. I am so inclined, I can't even tell you, to take the paint that I've got down below here and see what it'll do on the bottom of the canvas because it's just sitting there calling to me and it will pull the other paint down when I tip it and there's plenty of patterns on there and I can bring it over to the edge and do the same thing more or less I may have to spread some of that black over the edge and I've got one little got all kinds of pretty cells popping. I'll flip that over. Where'd my black go? <laughs> I'm going to put a little more black back in there. And that's my wave. I am going to still tip. But first, I'm going to show you guys. I've used up all my spatulas. Okay then. I'll take my cards. And as pretty as that paint is, I can't really save it. Well, I say that, but I'm going to try. <laughs> Throw my edge catchers right in the bucket so I can use them again some other day. I'm going to look at my sky at the top, run my finger through it once to make it sort of match everything else a little more. And then I'm going to try and peel this up. I'm going to tip it up as well as down because I love the cells and I think it'll make it look a lot more like water if I do that. I know somebody probably liked that orange in there. I shouldn't be doing this upside down, I'm sure of it. <laughs> Let's see what it looks like for me. Let's blow a little bit. Do we have a straw? Let's blow a little bit of this out. We've got all kinds of lacing and cells. Just looks like a huge amount of water. My bottom is very well covered. With the exception of a couple tiny little spots. That I am not going to worry about. My cells went over the side. That can be removed. If I want some more black on the edges, I can just let it fall right down over. So, this is Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery going, I do sell my artwork.
I appreciate you guys giving me wonderful comments every day, and thank you all for the contributions that have kept me painting for a couple of years on YouTube. Come April 2020. I can't be too fussy right now. I have to stop myself, really and truly. I don't mind that little reflection of the sky in the water. I want a solid black line across there. And I don't mind using the cell activator to do it. Because it's in a squeeze bottle and easier to work with. I don't mind the odd, strange white mark. She said as she played with it anyway. But uh, that's definitely called sea swell. I am inclined to use the paint that I see on my card right down here. And let that be. So, I'm going to just try and read to you right after I tell you that on Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group on, on Facebook, you can find um, other students and Expressionist Art Studio Gallery fans and collectors. You can join there and see what I've been. You can see you can see the edited YouTube video art. Well, some of it anyway. <laughs> And um, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery totes and more. You can see what I've been posting on Pixels.com and Fire Art America since 2013. And some of my favorite of uh, some of my favorite poured artworks are there. All available as prints and on, on and on products. Um, underneath the video, you will find my paint pouring recipe, Pinterest, Instagram, and Twitter links. Teespring clothing, which will have all over print T-shirts and leggings and my paint pouring recipe. On my channel you can find playlists 1 through 10 and probably 1 through 11 with 100 in each and uh, 11 genres of different things. My Amazon link you ha at no idea cost to you helps me out when you shop there immensely eventually when all of you do it at once. <laughs> um, the only thing the YouTube algorithm knows is how long you watch a video so if you want me to stay here on YouTube and you appreciate what I do please 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 watch the videos longer. I really really appreciate you doing that so much. Thank you guys. You've been wonderful to me. You have always been wonderful to me, even when there weren't very many of you. There are 85,000 of you. Please give me a thumbs up if you wouldn't mind. And like I said before, your comments have kept my morale up, and I really, really appreciate that. I'm looking for a straw because I see something I want to go away. So it's not the same wave, but it's okay. I like it, and I'm good with it except for that. And that'll be fine. All right, I love you guys. I'll see you and on. This is Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery saying check the community board or Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group for tomorrow's video if you're looking for tomorrow's video. And there's usually one, two, or three, depending on the day and how busy I have been. See you guys and on. Bye for now. Priscilla out.